Right, so we're here in Cape Hatteras for yet another year at the Triple S. We talk a little bit about this new wake style kit. I mean, I'm pretty stoked on it this year. Yeah, I think from the previous year it's been good for the freestyle, but we could have definitely worked on the kite for for the rail riding as well. And I think after being in Cape Town with Ralph. We were able to always have a kite that boosted big, it was good for freestyle, and then the last point was to get something that has a really consistent pull over the rails, and I think this year we nailed it, it seems like everyone's enjoying it. Yeah, and yeah, look how sick the new decks look as well, like Noe did this cool artwork on the new Gambler, Enjoy. Tom had this really good idea for like chalkboard graphics, so... How yeah. are you enjoying your new uh, drawing board? My new favourite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Write your tricks down on it and uh, get a little creative if you want. Yeah, mm. it's like having a different board in every session. You can oh, we've got a new factory this year, so we're now making all of the boards at the uh, Capita Snowboard Factory, which is like pretty stoked on that. I mean, it's 100% hydro powered, so like all powered by the, the river that's right beside hydro it. Hydro powered. Hydro powered, so like 100% eco friendly. We're using like the, the most eco friendly products we can get our, our hands on. So. Not just wind powered. Yeah. I did that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. But have you tried the dice? No. Ah. <laughs> no one's tried wow. the dice. I mean, <laughs> if you have tried the dice, it's pretty good this year. It's a few different changes. Bit of a canopy structure change, tensioned up all the slack parts between the three strut design, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good for, uh, for everything. Uh, new boots were on like prototype number three here on Aaron's board and boots have been completely reworked. Uh, we've got like new liners um, that's super comfortable, gonna rival I think the most comfortable boots on the market now with the new liner that's coming. Bit definitely, of extra stays. Definitely they're top, a lot more stiff, I mean up. that's one of the things yeah. Aaron was hollering for this year was just stiffen the boot up, not yeah. like it needed to be a stiffer stiffer on the high end side but like you know kind of a medium stiffness and, and for longer as well more durable yeah for they sure. stay like a bit more rigid for longer which is nice they break down so much with kiting because you're always on a constant edge yeah. compared with wakeboarding so yeah you yeah. have to be really like specially designed so what's going on with your board then mate well compared with the gambler much more snappy responsive board slightly geared towards flat water for yeah start. massively i mean for yeah. me the, the Hadlo board is a bit more of an in-between the Gambler and the Team Series, so yeah. you can still ride it and have good pop for riding fins and doing freestyle flat water stuff, but still got the base so you can hit rails and it's a bit more durable up the beach, you can flip your boots around. You treat it badly. For sure with the with this board in the park, the Gambler has a bit of a, a better flex because it doesn't have any carbon. The full one It's all about just getting that extra pop from your your freestyle trip. Definitely Aaron's board gives you a little bit more pop off the water, just that snappy feel. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Getting sunny and windy boys. Roll. Let's do it.